sometimes systems can't fail. And that is absolutely true when it comes to the cars we drive. Functional safety must be front and center in each and every part of our automotive designs. And this is definitely true when it comes to the memory solutions we choose for these applications. But what kind of memory would be best for that functional safety concern design that you're working on? How about the world's first nor flash with functional safety? Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Alex Baum from Infineon and I investigate the benefits of Infineon's Semper Nor Flash and how the reliability, long-term data retention, and functional safety compliance make this memory solution a great choice for a variety of mission-critical applications. We also examine how Semper Nor Flash has been architected and designed for functional safety and how Infineon Solutions Hub can help you get started using Semper Nor Flash in your next design. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from Infineon. Hi, Alex. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Okay, so we're talking about designing for functional safety with Infineon's memory today. So to start things off, can you give us a tour of the various memory solutions that Infineon has to offer? Yeah. Infineon has a broad spectrum of memory solutions, and they really break down to three main categories. We have the NOR flash for high reliability code storage, expansion RAM for high performance and high bandwidth applications, and data logging RAM for low power and high endurance. Each group contains multiple different technologies that are purpose-built for their key applications. So currently, our latest functional safety memories are the Semper NOR flash, which is a mirror bit technology, and the Exelon FRAM, which is a data logging RAM. Excellent. Okay, so I'm especially interested in the NOR flash solutions. Can you give us some more information about those? Yeah, so our latest and greatest NOR flash is the Semper NOR flash, and it uses our 45 nanometer mirror bit technology. And the Semper NOR flash offers many features such as endurance flex wear leveling, large density scalability from 256 megabits up to a potential 4 gigabits, the latest JDEC compliant high performance XSPY interface, and its main advantage is the offering of functional safety. And functional safety is a requirement that is becoming more and more prevalent in automotive applications where component and system failures can potentially endanger lives. And so this automotive safety integrity level can scale from an ASIL-A, which is relatively low severity, low risk applications, all the way up to ASIL-D, which is the high severity applications. And so ours is rated for around an ASIL-B. Okay, so what kind of applications is Semper Nor Flash a good fit for? So one of the key applications where functional safety compliance has gained importance is the instrument cluster and automotive applications. And here drivers expect when you turn on your car that it cluster instantly turns on and they can see everything and immediately start driving. And they can't afford to miss safety indicators or any warnings or have any corruption in their icons that are trying to tell them important information. And they can't afford to have that screen turn off while they're driving. So Semper has a lot of ASIL-B functional safety features such as safe boot and error correction code built in so that the system can always boot into a known good state and data correction can be fixed or detected. Semper also uses its high performance XPy interface to achieve that instant startup and it has high temperature support for the harsh conditions inside a car. That makes sense. Can you explain the architecture of this memory family a bit? Yeah, so here's a block diagram of the key Semper Flash elements, and all the special functional safety design details are highlighted in purple. So to achieve our ASIL-B compliance, we use SafeBoot for that startup security I mentioned earlier, onboard diagnostics for issue detection, independent chip reset if the Flash device is not responding to the host, 
sector protection to prevent inadvertent program and erases, and interface and data CRC to ensure the integrity of the memory array and information being transferred between the memory and the processor. So are there any other applications where Semper nor Flash could be used? Yeah, in the communications sector, there are remote radio heads or H's that use our Semper Flash to increase cellular coverage in remote areas. So these remote radio heads face a variety of harsh environmental conditions but are expected to function flawlessly over their lifetime in the very remote locations that they get placed. So because of this, Semper has a high temperature grade to sustain these harsh conditions and a high reliability to prevent the costly maintenance strips to go to these remote areas and replace parts on the remote radio heads. So Alex, endurance and data retention are vital components to any flash memory solution. So how does Semper NorFlash stack up in these areas? Semper NorFlash is actually a little bit different than some of our previous devices and some of the competition because it is specially designed to offer two modes of operation. So the end user can program their device to have either a lot of high endurance, 1 million plus cycle sectors, or they can have high retention, 25 year data retention sectors, or some combination of the two. We have actually seen customers, even in the like remote radio heads, use our flash for both the long-term code storage and also the high endurance data logging. So it works two different jobs that is a little bit unique for NorFlash. Another application that sometimes can use Semper for code storage and data logging are programmable logic controllers or PLCs. And these are used for factory automation and have similar reliability demands as RRHs. If a memory has a fault and a batch of inventory is ruined, then the damage can quickly become extremely expensive. So most automated systems also like to have their system set up and continue running for long periods until they become obsolete or break. Because of this long life, industrial partners require extreme longevity and a lot of the flash memory. All right, so let's talk about that longevity. What does that story look like here? So Infineon has had a flash memory longevity program for a number of years now, and it has typically been 10 years of supply insurance, but Semper is a little bit different because it's so new and we expect it to last so long. Semper is expected to be in production beyond 2035. So this means for long-term designs, you can start building in Semper nor Flash now, and then 10 years down the line, you can continue to buy the exact same or a form fit function compatible memory to continue building the same system or a later version. So what kind of further support does Infineon offer for these applications? Yeah, so every system and platform has a chipset and processor that interacts with memory. So to make designing easier, we work directly with chipset partners to validate our memory. And we provide validated software and offer application notes, data sheets, and extra documentation to reduce development costs and the amount of effort it is to find details on our products. All right, so Alex, what does Infineon offer in terms of resources and development tools for Semper nor Flash? In terms of development tools, we offer all the building blocks you need to integrate Semper nor Flash. So this includes software and software development kits, physical hardware kits and boards, IDE sport, and patches for Linux and U-Boot. And all of this is available on our recently created Semper Solutions Hub that provides an ongoing updated total of all of the software support we have. Fantastic. So Alex, if my audience is ready to get started using Semper nor Flash in their next design, where should they start? A great place to start is with the Semper PMOD board. And this is a small memory module that can plug into development boards or can even be used by connecting probes to the exposed pins. And we currently offer a 512 megabit 3.3 volt NOR flash for Semper, but we are planning on offering more density and voltage configurations in the future. And currently these are available at our distributor and in stock at Mauser. All right. Well, Alex, I think that's almost all I have time for today. But first, can you recap your main points for me? Definitely. 
So Sempernor Flash is a memory for mission critical applications that have higher reliability standards for memory. It's architected and designed for functional safety for automotive development. And we have our solutions hub that simplifies design with hardware kits, SDKs, and other resources. Fantastic. Well, Alex, I think that is all I have time for. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Infineon. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it, it's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash 